Hi, this is Kathy McKelvey here. First segment of relationships. I'm not an expert. Let's get that straight right away. I'm just giving you a few things that I've gone through and I've dealt with. So, take it or leave it. But anyway, if you're a lady and a man looking for a good relationship together, hey, I wish you the best. I really do. But there are some things that you definitely need to do and need to know. Number one, you need to know when you're getting into this relationship, it's work. It's like a, a, a job. And I'm going to try my very best not to curse on here. But it, it may come out. A few words may slip out. But anyway, I'm going to try my best not to curse. I don't want YouTube to kick me off the air. But anyway, it's a job. Especially in this day and time. Because, you know, a lot of men think they have just as many uh, perks and things as we do. You know, they want everything we get. They want it too. But uh, it, it, it's not going to happen. But anyway, ladies, if you really find this man or God send this man to you, you know, uh, tread lightly. But one thing you need to do is keep the lines of communication open. And if you find this man cannot carry on a, de uh, a straight conversation with you and, you know, and he want to walk out the room every time you say something that he don't like, or, you know, it, it get on his nerve because you want to talk, let him out the door, okay? And put your foot on the other side of that door so he can't come back. Because that's just who he is. And if his mama didn't train him, you can't do it either. Let him keep walking, okay? So, um, lines of communication are to stay open. You to listen to each other when you're talking. Okay, that's very important. Don't be just, you know, pretending to be listening to what the person is saying, other person is saying, and you sitting there just waiting to get your turn so you can let this person know, boy, these words are going to be so hard for me not to say on there. But anyway, uh, just listen, actually listen. And I found out something the other day, ladies, about my man. He was working in his trade. He's a carpenter. And he was just, you know, we're working on his house. we redoing his house. So, just to see him do his thing with a hammer and, you know, with a drill and <laughs> screwdrivers and mud and all this kind of stuff, sheetrock, it turned me on. So, I was like, hey. He's good at this. And he loves it. So whatever your man's passion is, praise him. Be there with him, you know, when he's working on projects and things, you know. I always did that. I, my last relationship, I always told my man, you know, hey, you can do that so good. You know, I, I like to hear you do that. And hey, hey, do it to me. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, a lot of things went wrong there. Uh you know, when the man does something that you like, let him know. Let him know, hey, you on the right track. Keep it going, just like this. And when he does something that you don't like, talk about it. But don't do like I did. I mean, you know, I just go straight at him. I mean, I, I, that's just me. But I don't want you to be like me right now. I want you to take another way and do it. Maybe yours <laughs> work out a little bit better. <laughs> but the one I got now, hey, we good. We good, okay? <laughs> Because I told him about all the bad things I did, you know, in the other relationship. I told him about what, all the, what the other man did wrong in the relationship, too. We discussed everything, okay? Because I didn't want this man coming to me with the same bull. Well, with, well okay. You know what I'm saying? I don't want him coming, talking no foolishness, okay? So I let him know right out the gate. No, this ain't happening. I'm not doing it. So, hey, whatever. And he accepted that, you know, just like the first one did. But anyway, there was a change of plans there, you know. But anyway, moving right along. When men do things that's wrong and stuff, they have to stand and account for that. They can't just do stuff and get away with it. No. That makes them weaker, liars, and all of that. So don't let them get away with it. I don't care if you have to snatch his behind up and take him in another room somewhere. Do that. But get your point across. Don't let him take away your independence, your freedom of speech, your freedom of thought. Don't let this happen, okay? You have a right to say no whenever you want to.
and not be whatever deemed the devil. Okay? Don't forget. Protect yourself, ladies. You are so important. Until later, Kathy McKelvey, I'm out.